History is one of the vital forces behind our development and functioning as a living being and as a society. It preserves personal as well as collective identity. But is history set in stone, intended as documentation of past events? Or is it constantly being reconstructed, even fabricated sometimes? Here at the Para Museum, what you confront as part of the 16th Istanbul Biennial, play with the idea of history as narrative. Take Polish artist Piotr Uklanski's Eastern Promises, a series of large-scale paintings inspired by the complex Orientalist heritage of Poland. Uklanski reinterprets historical portraits of white Europeans as Oriental subjects and questions nationalist ideologies and personal identity. Or take German zoologist Ernst Haeckel's illustrations. These are from his scientific research, although they seem almost science fiction. In a time when many of the world's species face extinction, Haeckel's work strikes a depiction of a lost world. There is also the late American artist Norman Daly's lifelong project, The Fictitious Civilization of Luros. The artifacts here are documenting the lifespan of Luros from the archaic period up until its collapse. Luros thus conveys a warning for our own world's potential for decline and dissolution. In the next room to Daly's work, there is Scottish artist Charles Avery's fictional island. Avery has been creating it for the last 14 years. I wanted to create a sort of a devolved state, a primary layer to all this, a set of relationships, which no matter what other meanings it attracted in the world at large, it still had a sort of pure meaning in relation to the system. And it's not a fantasy land. It's uh, no, no, no more different than Australia would be if you'd never been there or something. The paintings are depicting the everyday life on the island, while the glass sculptures feature the sea creatures that live nearby. Avery further created the island's customs and cosmology, nature and architecture. And I think the best model of that is the encyclopedia, the idea of the encyclopedia, which is a book which is always finished but never finished, and which you can enter at any point, and you can leave at any point, and you can take your own route through it, but that doesn't mean it's unsubstantial. It's made up of like lots of, so I see the Islanders project as being made up of lots of substantial parts, which are all floating around in a group and which will then be, be sort of united by the subjective element. So the viewer is a traveler through this, uh, uh, through this set of entities. And traveling through the works at the Para Museum, you may easily find yourself crossing the boundary between history and fiction. A boundary which is itself open to discussion. Sena Arslan, TRT World, Istanbul.